What's good, Nessie Gang? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's good? Make sure that thumbs up, subscribe, and be a part of Nessie Gang because Nessie Gang is the gang of all gangs, period. First and foremost, happy Vlogtober. We're almost to an end. It's sad, but it's very exciting for me. I have lots to post. I know I'm still behind, but like I said, y'all gonna get all 31 videos. So we're gonna do a wash and go. This is what it looks like. Literally, I used no pick. I used no nothing. I literally washed it put my products in it scrunched it and voila this is what we got all i've been doing is like making videos so i'll like flip it a little bit and look cute and then flip it this way but for the most part this is all so if you guys like the results that you're seeing keep watching just listen to all the details and products i'm telling you about it's very important that you don't judge based off of just looking at me that our hair types are the same because more likely it's probably not the same as mine before i keep watching just make sure to give this video a big thumbs up it takes one second to give it a thumbs up it took almost 24 hours to film and edit and make this video for y'all so show me some love please show me some love <laughs> all right i'm not gonna keep you up let's run the clip don't be judging me on what my hair looks like this is day 11 here it was over by day 8 but i've been procrastinating because i hate dealing with my hair it takes way too long a tip for when it's wash day is to have everything that you think you're going to use right next to you that's gonna make it go way faster I recently found a new curly hairline after I finished all my Diva Curl products and it's called Texture. No, they did not sponsor this video, but if y'all want to reach out, I would be glad. So the amount of moisture and slip it has is amazing and it does not have any harmful chemicals. Honestly, this is the first time using a scalp massager and I don't remember the brand, but I bought it for dandruff and to better exfoliate. It's supposed to have more benefits like enhance blood circulation, prevent dry and itchy scalp, help straighten, straight, strengthen your root, promotes hair growth, and it feels really good. I just wish it was a sturdier silicone so that I could really feel like it's scrubbing it really good. But scalp massages in general helps with relaxation and stress relief. By the way, I focus the shampoo mainly on my scalp and roots. I used to wash my hair with cold water when I could, but I stopped doing that after the curly hairstylist told me that it wasn't really necessary. I don't know if you guys will notice, but my hair got pretty dry after wringing it out, which made it more difficult to detangle. So what it helped me make it easier and quicker was adding a bunch more water and conditioner and it literally cut my detangling time in half by the way this isn't just for the camera i actually wash my hair separately in the bathtub so that i can concentrate better and to save more water if you guys haven't watched my transformation video of when i got this hair color i definitely recommend especially if you are changing your colors frequently or you want to change it and you're scared of bleach once i thoroughly wash washed my hair and took out all the excess water. I grabbed my Juva Beads Split End Mender by Bonat and if you've heard of it and you want to get into it, hit up my girl Kalina because she sells it. Um, I let that sit in for two minutes before I started to apply my products. The first one is a multi-purpose oil by Monat. Um, I just made sure that I didn't apply too much and I raked it through my hair and also scrunched it. The second product is Innersense Styling Volumizing Lotion. And the third product that I didn't show was Miss Jelly, Miss Jelly, <laughs> Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls Styling Lotion. Once I got my hair how I want it, I start manipulating it and laying it the way I want it to be when it dries. Then I let it stay in place and watch two hours worth of the originals on Netflix. And this is how it came out. Super curly. Um, definitely wasn't expecting that after the bleach and everything. That just goes to show that when you go to a curly hairstylist, it makes all the difference. And this is what it looks like the next day without me manipulating anything i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it was very informative if you guys still have questions feel free to ask them in the comments you guys can help me by answering some of those questions based off of your guys's experiences with curly hairs and stylists and products and all of that stuff let's just start a dope curly hair community i feel like there's lots of people with straight hair and or permed relaxed hair there's not enough people who are natural so yeah again if you didn't like the video liking it would be 
very much appreciate it. Fun fact, I actually hate doing my real hair. It just takes so long. Granted, this time it didn't take that long. I don't know if it's because it's healthier or just because I learned new methods. But if it's this quick every time, I probably won't have a problem with it. So go ahead and leave some like suggestions of what I should do to style my hair. Maybe I'll start loving it even more. I just love the big hair down look. But let me know some styles that I could do. I might have to try them out. But I love you, Ness, again. I took enough time out of your day. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.